I remember that uh, on March 6, mm -hmm. 1957, mm -hmm. Ghana was the first black nation on the African mm -hmm. continent to regain its political independence. Mm -hmm. And the Prime Minister then, the great Osajefo, mm -hmm. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, the kid from Nkrofu, mm -hmm. actually say, made a very, very important statement in Accra mm -hmm. that the independence of Ghana would be meaningless unless it was linked with the total liberation of the African continent. And he did not simply talk the talk, by the way. He actually walked the talk by providing the necessary tools mm -hmm. so that the rest of Africa could, in fact, walk the walk. How about that, Jack? Uh, that is totally correct. Yeah, we can definitely model um, Ghana's uh, democracy um, as all, all Africa nations. Um, but uh, make no mistake, Rwanda also has, um, like uh, Tafa said, um, met a whole lot of progress. You know, it, you build upon what you have. Yes. So he started again, you know, looking, looking at where Ghana, Rwanda came Rwanda from. Rwanda is, among other things really, Rwanda is best known for effective service delivery. That is correct. Service delivery. And it didn't come just overnight. No, but the question frankly is, when you look at uh, democracy and service delivery, are they mutually exclusive or are they mutually reinforcing? They are mutually reinforcing, I would say so. Um, they work hand in hand. I mean, you've got to have democracy. Democracy has to work also in ser providing services. So it's a hand in democracy hand. Democracy is the infrastructure. It is the foundation. It is the foundation of everything. You gotta be precisely, fair. Precisely. You gotta be fair in all your doings. We're talking about social, yeah. economic, political justice for all. Correct. Not selective. That is correct. 